It is 1877 in Berlin, Germany, and a professor of mathematics strongly critiques the published work of his former student. Why? Meet Georges Cantor, a German-Russian mathematician whose work on affinities are ah. still used today. Cantor was born in St. Petersburg, Russia, and was an outstanding violinist at a young age. Cantor moved to Germany at age 11, and later found a calling to study mathematics at the University of Berlin in 1862. After studying intently under the brightest math minds at the time, like Leopold Kronecker, Cantor asked the question if all the points of a square could be mapped onto a line that is as long as one side of that square. Cantor began his work in January 1874 and published his finding that it was true in 1877, where Kronecker openly opposed Cantor's idea insofar as calling him a corrupter of youth. Although Cantor continued his work with the help of other colleagues and even became the president of the Deutsche Mathematiker Vereinigung, the German Mathematical Society, in 1890, Cantor suffered from depression and was admitted to multiple sanatoria, specialized hospitals, as many contemporaries continue to refute Cantor's work. Cantor died in January 6, 1918 of a heart attack. His work on infinities have finally placed the once thought philosophical topic into a concrete mathematical one that needed to be studied, to which we still expand upon today. So the next time a student complains that math is full of dull people who all think of the same nonsense to force students to learn, you can say